Hi, Laura. Ah, oh, hello. How are you? Fine, and you? Fine, thank you. Well, I am in the Enrique Ola Generera National Park that is in the Ernstin Hills of Bogota. It's between the 7th Avenue and the 5th Avenue and between uh, the 36th Avenue, the 36th Street and the 39th Street. This park is very close to the Javeriana University and the Faculty of Engineering of the Francisco Jose de Caldas University. This park was declared a national monument in September 1996. I want you to know the history behind this wonderful park. First, this was the second park built right after the Independence Park. Its inauguration was held in 1934 to mark the fourth anniversary of the independence of the city. President Enrique Olaya Herrera was one of the biggest promoters, so that's why his full name includes the, the name of this president. Okay, let's come with me and let's learn about the history of this place. This magical place had a mechanical amusement park and a zoo, which were in service during the 1960s and 1970s. But later, the government decided to move them. On this ground, there is a small aviary, a football field, a volleyball field, a basketball, and also a skating one. Kids enjoy this place just for fun, because they want to learn a sport, and the district help them with this type of spaces. Here, there is also a children's pier with a capacity of 300 people. So this is an important place that was built in 1936 and that was declared as a National Monument of Colombia in 1995. People use this place for a meeting with friends to sing or to dance or to practice any sport or just for relax. To this park comes many people, so we cannot be sure about what kind of people come here, if it is good people or bad people. We are not sure about if the security uh, is the best, so uh, we can be safe and we can be secure with the police. Police is always in this park, watching that all the people is enjoying the place and is having a good time. People who arrive here are from the highest to the lowest social strata. Even you can meet with foreigners because this park belongs to everyone. You should do it with your family and your friends because you will have a different and a funny day. You don't have to worry about food because here government have authorized food stalls like those ones. You can find right there pinchos, arepas or mazorcada. And a few blocks to the south there is a shopping center called San Martin. There you can find many, many restaurants, uh, clothing stores, and even a cinema. But if you want the truth, what I like most about this park are those amazing gardens, large trees, and remarkable freshness and tranquility. Here, you can walk with your dog, uh, go with your partner to do some exercise, and other activities. Now we are in the center of the park. This is the Swiss clock tower 
that was donated by the Swiss community of the city in the 1954. In addition, the district always performed different recreational activities for the citizens, like concerts or ecological walks or games of skill. For example, at Christmas, the government decorates all the park with full color lights, uh, all the trees, for example, this tree is always shining with full color, it's really, really beautiful and people enjoy it and come here just to enjoy this time of the year. Today, we consider this park as the most traditional in Bogota. Its heritage is really abundant and we need to care this park, we need to care its biodiversity, uh, avoiding smoking, garbage and bonfires. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it and have learned too much about this paradise. See you next time!